Oh, you gotta watch this. So I get invited via my homegirl to go to this girl's dinner. I don't know her like that. I think I met her once through my homegirl a while ago. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go because you're inviting me. So I go, I get the girl a little gift or whatever. When I pull up, the first thing I realize is, first of all, everybody's on time. And second of all, a lot of people showed up for this girl's birthday dinner. It was over 12 people, probably over 15. I couldn't, I've never seen this many people at a birthday dinner at a restaurant in my life. As the night's going, you know, people are buying their drinks and things like that. But when what I started noticing is people's orders. You know, I, I'm a very observant person. So I started noticing people's orders and people, they were ordering two and three appetizers, three and four drinks, the best, biggest T-bone steaks with the gold on it and, and this and truffle fries and this and this. Everybody was doing their thing. So... Something, I don't know what it was, at some point of the night after, you know, people was, you know, finishing up their plates and ordering their last drinks and stuff like that. I had to go to the bathroom, but something hit me on my way to the bathroom. Like, you know, just stop and pay for your meal. Just just stop by the bar, pay for your meal, tip out, do that. That's what I did. So by the time I go to the bathroom, pay for my bill, tip out and stuff like that, the waiter is coming around to the table wanting to know how we're going to do the bill because the bill can only get split two ways. And he made that very clear. The bill can only get split two ways. So the girl looks down at the other end of the table where we're sitting and she says, oh, well, two of the guests, they can put it on their car and everybody can cash at them. And they can deal with the bill because I'm not worried about that. I'm the birthday girl. I heard it, but... Everybody around at the table act like they didn't. And I was completely not worried because, again, my bill is paid for, tipped and everything. I'm just kind of waiting on my homegirl. So after time has gone past, nobody's putting up the card. Nobody is even touched. Nobody even touched the check, right? So finally, a dude that was there, he opened it being funny, and it was over $3,500. That's how much the bill was. It was over $3,500. When he said that, I just busted out laughing. I don't know why I find it to be so funny. I think it's because I knew it was about to be a shit show. So the person comes back around and notices that nobody's touching the bill, and it's like, hey, what are we doing about the bill? So she looked down towards our end again, which I don't know why she kept looking down towards our end. So finally, she was like, all right, well, who's going to uh, put down on the bill? So I don't say nothing. My homegirl, she don't say nothing. And then so finally, another girl in the group was like, well, my homegirl, well, can we put it on your car and, you know, everybody just pay you back? My homegirl, she say no. Like, no, um, I'm not really comfortable with that. Da, 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 da. So things are starting to get heated now. There's a, a back and forth going between the restaurant, who's going to be paying, things like that. A lot of people are getting frustrated. Things are getting heated. So what do I do? I say, I'm going to excuse myself. Because first of all, I'm not about to be sitting in a, a, a food restaurant public setting and embarrass myself because y'all don't have your together, right? I don't do that. I don't play that. My is already taken care of. My bill is taken care of, tipped out, tipped beautifully. My bill came up to 100 and I'll never forget it was $115 without tip, right? So I was like, I'm going to excuse myself. Get up, leave, call the Uber and all. My homegirl, because that this is her friend. So she's staying trying to, you know, figure things out and stuff like that, arguing and things like that with people. I'm not doing that. So I excuse myself and I leave because y'all need to figure this out. As I'm getting up to leave, well, what are you doing? Well, why? Are you, how are you leaving? You need to help pay for this bill, things like that. The waiter, before I could even say that, the waiter's like, his bill's already taken care of. He took, you know, he paid his bill and tipped out almost 45 minutes ago. Everybody's shocked, looking like, I'm hitting the door by now. I'm gone. I'm out. I get, I get, by the time I get home, about an hour, I would say later, I get a long text message from my homegirl I think that, that it was real rude what you did at my homegirl's birthday dinner. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that type of etiquette came from. Da, 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 da. I texted her back a simple I D C. And he did exactly what he should have. He don't know those people. He came as her guest. So why should he be responsible of making sure this bill get paid? No, 
I'm going to pay for mine, and you all figure out the rest. This ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm a guest. Somebody invited me. I don't know, y'all. I mean, would you pay it? Would you have them putting over $3,000 on your card, hoping somebody else would come and actually pay you back? Because soon as somebody don't pay you back, that's on you. That's on you. So, no, I agree with him wholeheartedly. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's your bill. You knew you was getting down on that food and them drinks. What you looking at me for? And the entitlement of the birthday girl. I know it's your birthday, but don't be looking at me at the end of the table. You better be looking at your guests, making sure your bill paid. Ugh, it's the audacity for me. Let me read some of these comments. Somebody said, no adult should be expecting anybody else to be paying for their food. I agree. If you come into a restaurant, you come into the restaurant, have your money together. And why would you sit there and eat and drink so much knowing you can't afford it? Another person said he covered himself right away. And sometimes that's why you got to listen to your intuition. Listen every time because if you feel in your gut something about to go down, something about to go down. And he was right. He paid his bill and was like, hey, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Did he not say he bought her a gift? What more does she want from the guy? He don't know you, and yet he still was nice enough to bring you a gift. And as far as his friend, what was her main objective? Why did she automatically assume that he was going to help pay the bill? He's her guest. So she shouldn't have been looking at him twice. Was she expecting him to chip in for hers and everybody else's and the birthday girls? If so, I don't need no friends like that. Y'all, drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Because I'm not paying for everybody's bill, especially if I don't know you. Don't forget to hit that like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. You know what to do. Let's go. Nigga, fuck the police, fuck the police, nigga, fuck the police, fuck the police, nigga, fuck the police, fuck the police, nigga, fuck the police. Why these racist police killing niggas in the street? I blame it on society, cause they let them go free. When the cop kill a nigga, then he get probation. I got 10 years for hustling, now that's a fucked up situation. That's fucked up how they treat us, they always wanna beat us. And ride down on niggas with the motherfucking heat. Shot a fucking cop. Don't think you can't get it. Anybody can get popped. For uh -huh. years, niggas been going through shit and getting slain. It seemed like the police is a motherfucker.